Hi, I'm Charles. And I'm Caroline. We got married in June and now we're sailing around the Atlantic Ocean for the year. Come join us as we document our journey. In this episode, we leave St. Lucia and head to St. Vincent and the Grenadines. We catch a nice fish just after leaving St. Lucia and we do some diving in the wonderful island of Beckway. We continue on to the Tobago Keys and see the amazing turtles there. We finally head to Union Island and onwards down to Grenada. So we're just leaving Soufrière. It's over there. There's the uh, pitons, petit piton, Ambrose piton. Um, we're making our way down to Berkeley, hopefully. Um, it'd be great if we could get checked in tonight because it's New Year's Day tomorrow, but we may well be at Ankara quarantine uh, until the first, but someone's getting their fishing lines out. Morning, Charles. Morning. So absorbed, you can't even turn around. So here we have a ballyhoo, rigs, a hook, island lure. Hopefully this will catch something today. It's frost. It smells good. Mm. I can actually see St Vincent already in the distance over there. We're actually planning to sail to the west of St Vincent and round uh, down to Beckway to check in there. Because uh, several people have said it's a nicer experience, but we'll see how we get on. And if it's if we're running out of time, we don't want to arrive in the dark, so we'll pop into a port in St Vincent if we can't make it to Beckway in one day. So we've just left the new show. We've got the pitons just behind the transom. <coughs> uh oh, Rona! <coughs> just waiting for a bit of wind. So we can uh, stop motor sailing and just, just continue sailing. Something. It's kind of, it's putting up. Oh, it's a mahi mahi. She's got the gas. Nice, well done. Beautiful. One reef in the main, and we've got a full genera out, and we're powering along at six to seven knots. St. Vincent's still in the distance over there. I'm going to make the most of this wind, I suspect. When we get down to the west coast of St. Vincent, we'll probably lose the wind, we'll probably be in the wind shadow, but for the time being, this is working rather nicely. Although Sargasso is a bit of a pain, up the line. What we found in our crossing wall is where there's sagasso. Where there are sagasso, there are normally fish, so you know, take the good with the bad there. Just bringing down the St. Lucia flag. It's the Grenadines flag on. We're just adding the Beckway flag underneath. Now we add the Q flag for quarantine. steering because it's a little bit windy. We're considering putting a reef in the main but we were expecting the uh, wind to drop when we got round to the leeward side of the island so we're just giving it a little bit more time 
um, see if we need to balance the boat better at the moment. So that's the south end of St Vincent. We've just sailed down the west coast and in front of us is Betquay which uh, we're hoping to anchor there tonight and to clear into the Grenadines. Uh, just got our PCR results through um, thanks to Charles's sister and we are clear, thank goodness. So they should let us into the country. Uh, but yeah, all good. We had a um, fairly sporty sail down and then the wind died and we had to motor for a bit. Um, and now it's got back up again as you can see. Um, so it should be a good end to the day hopefully. So just landed in Beckway. Oh, do we have uh, moss? Yeah. Okay, that's right. It's New Year's Day today, and we just had a lovely cooked breakfast to start nice and healthy for the year. Today, well, last night we went to bed at 8 p.m. Or I went to bed at 8 and slept through, and it was wonderful. So. <laughs> This morning, whilst the weather wasn't too good, we decided to get on with some boat jobs. We had to reattach the transom mount bolts on the dinghy, and we also had to try and fix our water maker feed pump. Ah, I'm doing the wrong way around. Sat this way, and we'll be able to go all the way forward and back. Start again. The um, pump on the water maker stopped working, uh, well didn't work yesterday when we tried to use it on the passage so we've just um, taken it off the system and we're just opening it up to see if we can work out what's wrong. It's probably broken there. So we pulled all the pump to pieces um, but actually what turned out to be the problem was some corroded joints at the bottom which um, go to the pressure switch. Um, and because they had corroded, the current wasn't flowing. So it was basically, even though the switch was on, it was acting like it was off. Um, so we uh, cleaned that one side off, put new attachments that are uncorroded on one side and um, yeah, connected it back up to the water, um, remounted it there. And now we're just connecting it back to the 12 volt main system but we've tested it and, it and it works so putting new terminals in connecting terminals and we're using heat shrink tubing to make it give it some semblance of waterproof yes. so we just connected those and now gonna we'll put that on last thing in case oh, we um, okay. just you know in case we want an extra layer of shrink wrap just over that join to try and make it as waterproof as possible. Master electrician at work. So here's our associate flag. So it's almost worn through there and we've lost the end of it. What is that, six, six months of sailing? Yeah. Time for an upgrade. We treated ourselves to a big one. evening on the 1st of January. This is the Bay of Beckway. Right there there's lots of noise. There's a floating bar which sounds quite fun. Boats there I think. Yeah just there. Is it? Trouble you can't really see. Yeah it's somewhere there. And it's a beautiful bay just at sunset. Hello. Yes. Hello, doggy. I think he wants a drink. I could do with a drink, but I'm getting forced marching on a frog march away from the drinks. Just have a nice little stroll at sunset back to the dinghy duck. Go back to the boat. Have to see 
our friends. We're going to town, but also our friends, lots of them, have just turned up. Hello, guys! Hi. Happy New Year! Just heading off for our dive in Beckway. Two other friends with us. Bay, which is um, just beyond those uh, outcrop of rocks there, and we are sailing south now. We're going to pass Mustique, and we're going to head straight down to the southern Grenadines um, and go down to uh, Meru or Meral. I never know how to say it, uh, but it's in the distance there. Uh, so we're going to head down there. Should be a nice three to four hour sail, we expect, and see how we go. Sailing past Canoan. We've got the rods out. It's been quite a quiet day for them all, just picking out lots of sargassum weed. But it's not too bad because we've got quite a lot of mahi mahi still in the freezer. But it would be nice to catch a tuna. About 15 miles, no, not, it's about 4 miles away past Mustique and all these other islands lie down so it's very exciting sailing around here. A reef in the main, the Fulgina on a broad reach. We anchored up in Salt Whistle Bay in Meru and the next morning went for a morning stroll. Thing. I saw this all day. We waited for a gap in the weather and left Salt Whistle Bay to head to the beautiful Tobago Keys. That doesn't look great and it's heading towards us. Rat row. In the Tobago Keys. And I'm about to go diving. Tobago Keys was absolutely amazing. Blue water, bright sunshine, and abundance of marine life, including stingrays and turtles.
The next day, we made the short sail down to Union Island, where we had to check out of the Grenadines to go onwards to Grenada. That does smell of petrol. Oh, whoa, whoa. There's Nazareth, which is We've just sailed around Union Island and this is Chatham Bay. That's where we're going to drop anchor tonight. What? We took a bit of a circuitous route as Charles was fish has been fishing. Caught two barracuda, um, but we didn't keep them because we're worried about ticketera poisoning. Um, we almost went all the way to Caracal, which is where we're going tomorrow, uh, but we're just waiting on our PCR results before we can leave for there. Um, but we're actually technically checked out of checked out of St Vincent and the Grenadines and leaving tomorrow morning after a night here. Just going for a pre-dinner stroll um, in Chatham Bay. A nice guy at the restaurant. Bah! Whew. It is a tad, tad steep. Look at that view. So this morning, it's the 8th of Jan, we are in Chatham Bay and as you can hear it's quite windy this morning, it's about 15, gusting 18. Caroline has just removed the snubber, we're going to cake up our 30 metres of chain and then we're going to head south, leave the country of the Grenadines and we're going to Granada. But we're not going to actual mainland Granada, we're going to a place called Sandy Island. We're going to, in Karaka. We're going two miles west because there's a big ocean ridge which goes south, and then we're going to follow it south. And uh, I bring some ballyhoo up, and hopefully we'll catch some fish, some mahi mahi or anything else. So we we'll have some fresh fish. Just sailing from Chatham Bay, Union Island, over there, down to Karaka, which is part of Karaka and Grenada. Um, we came quite far out west in order to get on a ridge for some fishing. Um, but what that's meant is we're now on a close reach um, rather than a leisurely broad reach. It's all because Caroline wanted to do some fishing. I didn't want to see any fishing but she really wanted to. So we compromised and went fishing. Yeah. A nice little sail down. Got my rods out. The, that run is not out because the the wind brings the line across and it tangles all the others. So the leeward rod is out, and then I've got one on each stern cleat, nice and low, so that the belly of the line doesn't go down too far. And there's one sort of teaser in the middle as well, but they're all sort of going off to the left because of the wind. We had one bite, but it just uh, bit off the back end of the ballyhoo I rigged. So I think we need to put a second rig at the back next time we do it. Just arriving at Sandy Island and it looks absolutely stunning. Beautiful. In the next episode, we explore the wonderful Sandy Island and do a little bit more fishing and we eventually arrive in the southern tip of Grenada.